Whenever you're about to square both sides of an equation to get rid of a square root, you should consider just plugging in the answers instead. It's faster and it's safer. So here, for example, there are only two answer choices, negative one and two. Let's just try them both out. So the square root of negative one plus two, does that equal negative negative one? Well, that's the square root of one, which is one, and that's positive one, so that works. But when you go to plug in two, you get the square root of two plus two equals negative two. That's false. So the answer is B. Here we could square both sides, but let's just plug in the answers instead. Square root of 4 times 1, does that equal 1 minus 3? Nope. So that's out. Square root of 4 times 9, does that equal 9 minus 3? Yep. So that's B. On this one, you could square everything out, but it's going to get really nasty. You're going to have 64 minus 16 root x plus x, and then you're going to have something like that on the other side. You really don't want to deal with that. So instead, just plug in the answers. I would start with the ones that are perfect squares, because it's pretty unlikely you're going to end up with like 8 minus root 2 is your answer or whatever. So if you plug in 4, you're going to have 8 minus the square root of 4 squared. So that's 8 minus 2 squared. And on the other side, you're going to have 4 plus the square root of 4 squared. So that's 4 plus 2 squared. 6 squared equals 6 squared. That's true, so the answer is 4. On this one, we could bring the 2 over and square both sides, and then we'd have to factor everything. A lot of chances to make a mistake if you do all that. Instead, let's just plug these in. So the square root of 14 minus negative 2 plus 2, does that equal negative 2? Definitely not, so that's out. This one, you start to plug in the square root of 14 minus 1, you get the square root of 13. There's no way that's going to work out. So now we try the last one. Square root of 14 minus 5 plus 2 equals 5. So that's the square root of 9, which is 3 plus 2, and that does equal 5. So that's 3 only. Here we could bring this over and square both sides, but instead we're just going to plug in. So square root of 8 plus 28, that's the square root of 36 a good sign. It's a perfect square. And we have 2 times the square root of 8 plus 1. That also comes out to a perfect square. So we have 6 minus 2 times 3 equals 0. That's true. And if you're in the middle of the test, you would just accept it and move on. Later, you might want to come back and check the other answers to make sure that they don't work.